It's terrible. Terrible. Rizzo remembers every time he woke in the first month of the off-season, dazed by defeat, and had to start all over again. Sometimes he didn't even wait that long. In October of 2014, after the Nationals fell to the Giants, Rizzo worked through the flight back to Washington. He opened his laptop, the screen glowing in the dark charter plane, and stared at a list of returning players, of free agent targets, of prospects and other bits of the future. There had to be an answer, he thought, in this web of losses and loose ends. The impossible part was finding it. It's a terrible feeling. Then, all of a sudden, as if a reminder were whispered in his ear, Rizzo is living in 2019. His short, stocky frame, cut like a man who once played baseball, inches to the couch's edge. He acts out the highlights as they burst into his head. Soto single off Hayter in the wild card game. Rendon and Soto hitting back-to-back -back homers off Kershaw in the NLDS. A sweep of the Cardinals. Two wins against the Astros. Three crushing losses at home. And finally, there he was in Houston. His son to his right, his wife to his left. Their eyes watching a pop fly drop to earth. It wasn't over then. Not yet. But Rizzo turned to his son, to his wife, to himself even, and let a thought escape his mouth. We're going to win the fucking World Series, Rizzo told them, in the last hours of October 31st, 2019, two outs before the Nationals beat the Astros for their first championship. The Nationals bucked a list of modern trends to do so, blended old and new school tactics, didn't stay away from older players, but built a winner on their backs. They made chemistry a key ingredient. They survived a 19-31 and 31 start, when their title odds sunk to 1.5%, when it seemed reasonable, if not necessary, to give up and plan for next year. Then they survived five elimination games in the postseason, despite trailing in each one, and became the first to win a title with four road victories. So after a lifetime of waiting, of wondering if the luck would flip, Rizzo could admit to saying those words out loud. They rattled around the empty hotel room in San Diego. He's still wondering how they make any sense at all. One, they were ready for you. November 28th, 2018. They rode down an alley off reality, beneath the dim yellow streetlights, by bare bushes, bristling trees, and into a dark cul-de-sac, the gravel slicked and messy, the Potomac River swishing up to shore. This was where rich people went to impress other rich people. Right inside, past one set of doors, then another, a pair of lit fireplaces and a wooden wraparound bar. So here were Mike Rizzo and Mark Lerner at Fiola Mare in Georgetown, with millions to spend and business at hand. This, Rizzo believed, was how they'd turned the Washington Nationals from an 82-win team, their final identity of last year, into a real contender. Rizzo was not focused on the free agent everyone was talking about. He instead wanted the top starting pitcher on the market, and wanted him bad. That pitcher had visited two teams before arriving in Washington on November 28, 2018. Rizzo knew others were in the mix. And how to show his interest, yet not come off too desperate, was what the GM had stewed over for days now. He had to nail this dinner. See, Pat, they were ready for you, Rizzo told Patrick Corbin while they walked through metal detectors in the entryway. Security was wall to wall in the Italian restaurant, and Rizzo joked that it was to protect Corbin from adoring fans. Their white-clothed table was set for six. Corbin sat down next to Jen, his wife, and straight across from Rizzo. Lerner, the Nationals' managing principal owner, and John Courtright, Corbin's agent, filled the last two seats. It just so happened that Vice President Mike Pence was dining there, too. The dinner crowd is politicians, lobbyists, or anyone who, in a given night, can spend $125 on the cheapest caviar or $500 on the average bottle of wine. Corbin and Jen liked fine dining and had splurged in the past, but this was another level. They were...